Hey, let's talk about efficiency versus effectiveness today on Between the Black and the White. Hey, I'm Gray Reinhardt, and I don't remember bringing this up on any past episodes, but many years ago, back when the first version, the first edition of Quality Education came out, I had the opportunity to be on a panel at an education forum at the University of Rhode Island. And when the topic of high school graduation rates came up, because that's always a hot topic, I said I could make the high school graduation rate 100% today. Well, folks ask, how would I do that? I said it's very simple. Every student who comes in the door gets handed a diploma and sent right back out again. There you go. 100% completely efficient process but not a very effective process. And folks agreed that when it comes to education, effectiveness is more important. But I think it's true of more than just education. I think that's true of a lot of facets of our lives. For instance, when I take my car to the shop to get something fixed, it's great to get it back fast, but it's even better to get it back right. And thankfully, the shop that I use makes sure that happens. So, effectiveness, in the end, trumps efficiency. Now, that doesn't mean that we should waste time doing the things we do. Um, and it goes along, in a way, with what my old commander used to say. Of, Don't let perfect be the enemy of good make sure that you know this is the level that we're going for and we do the work necessary to make that happen but we don't go too far in terms of trying to get there too quickly because sometimes I think when we pursue efficiency with particular ruthlessness we end up sacrificing effectiveness in the process we shouldn't sacrifice effectiveness on the altar of efficiency. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to know yours. Uh, in the meantime, I do thank you for being with us on this episode of Between the Black and the White. Uh, before I let you go, I want to remind you that there is a new edition of Quality Education out in the world, and if you would check that out, I would appreciate it very much. Uh, but Mostly, I hope that you'll come back on a future episode because Between the Black and the White is where you find gray.